I've got 200 standard packs here. We also have some extras, a few ballins, a few millionaires. Just going to start with these. But today, I really want to see how many diamonds I can pull in 100 standard packs. Normally, I would expect maybe two or three. But recently, MLB changed the odds from 1 in 50 to 1 in 8 for a diamond from standard. So I'm expecting a good amount of diamonds today. Let's see if we have any bonus standards. That's going to be 101. All right, we have a headliner to open today, too. I don't know. I guess we could count those in the diamond total, but I'm really focused on 100 standard packs. But let's open up the one headliner that we have, see if we could just start with a diamond. Nah, but we're double dipping on golds. We got three ballins. These are 1 in 15 odds for a diamond, but they guarantee you gold or better. That guaranteed gold or better is always on that final spot. So a couple golds in there. I got to go through and sell my duplicates again. I probably have some stubs just sitting in my inventory. Our two bonus standard packs from the millionaires. I don't want to say I don't want to see a diamond from these two. We do anyways. That's crazy. All right. Uh, so I guess the diamond counters at one today. And maybe we'll stop it at 102 or something. We'll have to wait and see. But our first diamond of the day. I've been seeing a lot more diamonds ever since they changed the odds. We get Steven Kwan right there. And I would love to see four packs in a row with a diamond. My record is three packs in a row with a non-guaranteed diamond already we're gonna have to start a new streak but i gotta go through and sell my duplicates you know i'm sitting here i got 14 of these bats 11 of those commons yeah it's not that many stubs but when you think about how many commons there are in the game if i go through and sell all of them i probably got a decent amount of stubs just sitting in my inventory but it's just i feel like it's gonna take hours even to quick sell them i don't think i'm gonna put in an order right like if i put in an order i could get seven instead of five but I just don't think that would really be worth it. And even quick selling all of the, the duplicate commas that I have, that would just take so long to quick sell all of these. Even the bronzes, I'm sure. Some of the silvers too. Now, I used a lot of the silvers that I had for exchanges, but I'm sure I still have some sitting there, especially on the free agent tab. There is a lot of free agents. I got the, the duplicate jerseys, equipment. There's just a lot that I got to go through, but... At some point here, maybe the next week or so, y'all are probably going to get a video of me selling my duplicates. Seeing how many stubs I can make because I need a lot of stubs. There's a lot of expensive cards. See, like jerseys here. You know, I got, I got four duplicates of these. But there's a lot of six-figure cards from the events, from, I guess, chase cards that I still need to grab. This most recent events, I was only able to get one of those six-figure cards. And I'm kind of thinking there's a new event that comes in, I think, maybe this Friday. It's kind of seeming like unless they change things. For one, the event rewards are non-sellable. And then number two, you only get one of them per pack. You know, there's the... Ooh, there's another diamond, but the flawless rewards in the BR program. There's two of them per pack. I guess events are... Ha I guess that makes sense. The events are happening more often than the new br programs but still i don't know man the price of the flawless rewards compared to the price of the event rewards i think for the most part i would have to average it down a little bit but it kind of seems like right now the most expensive cards the hardest cards to get would be all the event rewards that's just the way it seems at least for me our second diamond of the day i'm pretty sure so far only purple diamonds again i would love to somehow see four diamonds in a row right four packs in a row with a diamond we did three in our last pack opening uh, I was thinking I know some of y'all might remember me mentioning I was thinking about doing a 200 pack pack and play uh, I still want to oh another diamond okay so so there was one pack in between but another diamond uh, I still want to do a pack and play I just am not feeling up to it to it today I'm a little bit sick I don't know if it's a cold or what but like I've been having some drainage not able to breathe out of like one of my nostrils at a time I've been having a cough that's been making my head but also my throat hurt and I just I wasn't feeling up to doing a whole pack and play plus a gameplay today I just wasn't really feeling up to it obviously I still wanted to get the daily video I think our third diamond of the day our first non-purple diamond, we get a Tops now, Jose Iglesias. For these, I'll probably check the price. Like, I can get a little bit more stubs for him. So, just sell that there. Hopefully, it goes through. I'll take any diamond that I can get. And that's why I want to sell my... Yo, back-to-back -back diamonds! Okay. Like I said, my record is three packs in a row. This is two packs in a row. But I'm sorry that we're not doing the pack and play. I know I said I was going to. I'm just, like I said, not feeling up to it today. A little bit sick. But I still wanted to get a daily upload for y'all here. 
And this is two diamonds in a row. Two packs in a row with a diamond. I'm hoping to somehow get four packs in a row. This is two. And we get a green diamond. A teal one. Okay. Max free. 96 overall. Season one. Uh, season awards card. We'll sell him. I want to see somebody like Adley Rushman, though. That's like, I want to see Gold Lice and I want to see Adley. I want to see maybe that Milestone Carlos Santana. I want to see a chase pack. It says chance to find chase pack at the top. I want to see a chase pack out of a standard pack. Let's see if we can... Oh, <laughs> what? Wait, I just got so lucky. What are the odds that I'm literally like... Th this is probably the, the second max third, but I think it's only the second time I've seen a chase pack this year out of a standard pack. And what are the odds that it happened right after i was saying that i wanted it to happen and does this count as three packs with a diamond in a row i think it does like to me it does because chase packs guarantee a diamond okay now i think i'm gonna save this for the end of this video just because it's a guaranteed diamond right we're guaranteed a diamond out of here uh i want to see carlos santana six figures i'm trying to think who else is good right now uh i know for a fact Adley Rushman is. Adley Rushman is like the most expensive one. 300,000 stubs. What about Paul Skeens? Yeah, Paul Skeens is six figures. Ozzy Albies. That's not six figures, is it? No, but like some of these cards are real expensive. And I guess it would only be 99s. So we want to be... Out of this, we want to be seeing gold lights. But I think to me, that's technically three packs with a diamond in a row. So if I get a diamond in this pack, we set a new record for myself. And we don't. Okay, well, we got to start a little bit of a new streak, but that's crazy. I literally think that's only the third time. It's either the second or max third time this year that I've seen a chase pack out of a standard pack. And, like, that's just crazy to me. Like, the, the one time I'm talking about it, I didn't, even, I didn't even mention it in the last video we did. And that's my first time. Maybe it's not going to be my last, but it's my first time mentioning it in this video and then it happens. And there we go. Jose Iglesias. We could have quick sold him for 4,500. Instead, we made about 1,300 more extra stubs. Love to see that. Uh, again, I'm going until we got 100 standard packs left. 100 standard packs. See, and see, just look how many commons I have. These are the free agents, right? Like, this is going to be 55 stubs, 50 stubs. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a lot, but 100 from two cards, like 50 from one. Like, say we have hundreds of them. Like, that's going to be... <laughs> Yeah, say we had 100, that's like 5,000 extra stubs. I mean, if, if we have all that much. I guess that's not... I mean, it adds up over time, but is it worth it? I mean, we'll see. Like I said, I, I do want to do a video where I sell my duplicates. That's going to be coming soon. And at the beginning, we'll see how many stubs I start with. Uh, I might do one of those things where I like... Sometimes I'll do this for pack openings too, where I put in buy orders for a card like that's obviously not going to go through like for that Adley Rushman I would just put in like 15 100,000 stub buy orders and I would get my stub count down to zero and that would just be an easy way to tell yo and Max Free just sold I think I think he might have been like a 5,000 quick sell value or something like that so an extra 1,700 stubs and like you could probably pretty easily put in a buy order for him for that quick sell value it'd probably go pretty fast there's a diamond love to see that so we want to see gold lights though but it's really not hard to make stubs, so maybe I should focus on flipping flipping the market. Maybe I could do a video like, oh, I spent one hour working the market and see how many stubs we can make. Because if I did that, I could probably be able to, in an hour, I would think maybe afford one of those event cards. So maybe that's something I'll do. Again, I want to sell my duplicates, though, just see how many stubs I make. It'd be easy to tell if I got my stub count down to zero or whatever. But another diamond. I've already lost counts. Uh, I think this is going to be number... I think this is number five, plus we have the chase pack would be number six. Another blue diamond. Again, we want to be seeing gold lights, but anything's better than purple at this point, I think. Uh, Hobie Milliner, yeah, 5,000 quick. So I'm just going to see his buy now price is 5699. So it there's a 10% tax. So I would only be making like less than 200 stubs, I think more than the quick sell value. Quick sell value is not taxed. You get that flat 5,000. Hobie was one of my favorite relievers last year. Uh, I don't think I've really used this card much this year. A little bit to get him to P1, but I don't think I've used him nearly as much as I did last year. And we're going to have to start a new streak. I really want to see somehow four packs in a row with a diamond. We had one in between. 
But like the more and more that I open packs, and once I have every single card in the game, I kind of want to just maybe start spending some stubs on packs. I think it could be fun to do videos, pack and plays, whatever. Uh, but I think there's at some point we got to tie three again, maybe even beat it. A green diamond again, love that. I think this is maybe diamond number six. There's Brian Ramos, a tops now card from season one. Quick sell value of 5,000. We'll go ahead and do 6,998. Hopefully get like 6,300 stubs or something. If he does go through, let's see another diamond. No, we got a gold though. We got a gold. Wait, did they change the odds for golds? Was it one in five for golds and one in three for silver before? I'm kind of curious now. I don't remember what the odds were for golds and silvers before. Man, like seeing all of these duplicates though, for the silvers, golds, bronzes, diamonds, it's not going to be that bad. I'm not sure if I'll even have really any diamonds, maybe a few, but, uh, and I mean comments here, it's actually, wait, now that I think about it, I started with the comments. I mean, like I, if it's a free agent, right? The free agents, that's going to be the longest for me is the free agents. Cause there's a ton of them and we have a ton of the duplicates too. Like most of them, we probably have duplicates for uh, and I didn't do exchanges, but I forgot that for this season of Team Affinity, I started with the exchanges, or I, I with the exchanges, I started with the comments. So, um, I mean, I do have I do have duplicate comments because I've opened some packs, and comments are the most common card. <laughs> uh, anyways, but I, I I'm not gonna have as many comments, bronzes, and silver duplicates as maybe I thought. I'm still going to have, obviously, a decent amount, especially now that I'm opening more packs. But I might actually have the most, like, gold duplicates. But I still did golds for some teams. Wait, we're getting a lot of non-purple diamonds, man. I love this. I guess it's because you're able to pull, like, more than just live series cards. It seems like they added a lot of other cards to the packs. And so there's probably way more like mid-tier diamonds than there are 85 to 89 but look at that sell now 4,000 but buy now 94.99 so if he sells 94.98 so we're gonna be making more than double the quick sell value so that's why i'm checking these diamonds checking their prices uh when i do the duplicates for commons bronzes silvers golds i'm gonna be quick selling for diamonds, I'm going to be checking the price and we'll see like if we can make a decent amount more than the quick sell value before I would quick sell. But everything else, maybe the golds, like next time we see a gold popping up, I'm going to try to remember to check the buy now price. We'll, we'll try to see that. But I just got to think it's it's not going to be way higher, you know, I, I like especially bronzes too, right? 28 compared to 25, 27 compared to 25. It's, just, it's not going to be worth it for for commons bronzes silvers yeah 88 compared to 75 i mean it might be different because it's a uh it might be different because it's a free agent but even then i don't think that's going to be making much of a difference but anyways like the diamonds i feel like that's going to be the only spot it's worth it i'm getting a lot of free agents today though too i'm seeing a lot of free agents here there's two of them right here 11 of those guy five of that guy i would like to see some more diamonds there's a gold. Yeah, Marcelo Zuna. See, 488 compared to 400. So we would get like 440 something. The extra 40 stubs. Yeah, it would add up, right? Like, let's just say we had... Like, it, it, would, it would add up over time. But when I got millions of stubs, I don't know, man. It just doesn't seem worth the extra efforts to do that. I would really like to see some more diamonds, though. I felt like we were on a really good roll of pulling dot. Ask and you shall receive, I guess. Not Adley, please give me Adley. It's not Adley, it's P. Crow Armstrong. All right, man. All right, all right. How many stubs? That's not bad. Se Yo, okay, 16, 999. I would love to be able to get three times the quick sell value for him. I was hoping we would have back to back packs with a diamond, but hey, man. We got our first 99 of the day. I'm really hoping it's not the last 29 standard packs to go. I've lost count of how many diamonds. I think we're at like eight, maybe. I'm really not sure. I don't remember if anyone wants to count how many diamonds we've pulled. And when you count, include the chase pack. And, and maybe we'll get one more chase pack. Maybe we'll get another from a standard because you have a chance. I don't know what it is. Don't forget to add this diamond onto the total too. But make sure you inclad, inclad, <laughs> inclad that chase pack. Not include the chase pack. 
because that's a guaranteed diamond and we got it from a standard and there's a blue diamond uh i, I really want to be seeing gold diamonds i mean could tell Marte that's live series a 92 quick sell value of ten thousand. uh 11 i mean i'm just gonna i'm gonna list them if he sells he sells if he doesn't i'll sell my duplicates at some point uh but anyways i want to see gold i want to be seeing 99 overalls from the diamond pulls and that's the ideal situation 21 standards left there's another gold i really want to see another chase pack too man it's like what i would i rather see a chase pack here or would i rather see a 99 on the end i think if i had to choose at this point i'd rather see a chase pack because i think the chase pack might have the best chance to give me one of the 99s we want because there's other 99s that aren't chase cards too so i, I really don't know what to think we'll have to wait and see uh 15 packs left so let's get some more diamonds i'm excited to do the pack and play though and i'm still trying i'm still trying to decide if, if y'all have any suggestions that you want to see for my pack and play uh, i'm thinking i might just my first one will be 100 packs and then after that i'm thinking okay we'll go to uh then maybe we'll do 200 and then after that we'll do 500 like i don't know something like that could be fun to just do different amounts or maybe we would do 100 then 200 then 300 then 400 then 500 who knows uh but i think a pack and play could be a lot of fun but i'm curious do y'all think should i only do golds and diamonds or should i do like silvers because there's no guarantee i guess that we get 26 golds or diamonds i would hope that in 100 standard packs i do but like especially for pitchers i feel like there's no guarantee it's like i feel like i should probably include at least for the pitchers still i don't know maybe position players too but I, I feel like i should include like some bronzes and silvers at least to start and i guess i could always replace them right like it's like i could add bronze right fielders to the team and then i could just go ahead and replace them so maybe maybe i would need to do that i don't know man i just i'm curious if y'all have any ways like or, or like minimum overalls anything like that i'm always open to suggestions i got a lot of duplicate jerseys i need to sell too five standard packs left hoping for at least one more diamond hoping for at least one more chase pack i saw a diamond here and i thought maybe for a second hey there's some jerseys i don't have i'm trying to collect every jersey three standard packs left and i think right here i think technically now we've opened 100 standard packs today but we got two extra from the stump millionaire so maybe we'll get a bonus diamond nah no bonus diamond our final pack of the day is going to be a chase pack. As always, if y'all enjoyed, hey, feel free to drop a like. Maybe consider subscribing for daily uploads. Uh, we got a new event coming out on Friday. I'm interested to see what the rewards are looking like for that. I'm really hoping that we see a new finest card. At least one. I'm hoping for two new finest cards in that event. But uh, I'm hoping for not only rewind packs. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. But hey, feel free to drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for daily uploads. We'll have a video going live tomorrow. You might enjoy one that pops up on screen, another on the channel. Otherwise, though, I hope I'll see you at tomorrow's daily upload. Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I hope we end on a gold diamond. No, it's going to be a purple. Hey, man. That's a lot of diamonds, though. We did get lucky. We got a 99 overall. We got some other diamonds. Overall, I felt like it was a lucky day today. I appreciate y'all watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. And hopefully, I'll see you in tomorrow's daily upload.